You may have heard word that the Luskum Aircraft Company is getting back underway in business again back in New York, the state of New York, in western New York. Let's go down and meet young Gavin Swanson and get the scoop on what's the latest with the Luskum Aircraft Company. And it may be soon that you may be able to buy a brand new Luskum SLA light sport aircraft. Built just almost identical to the one you see right here, the Mighty Luscombe. First, let's run down to Rio Linda, California in the Mighty Luscombe to meet our old friend Scott Monroe in his new-to-him 1967 Blanca Viking. And then we'll uh, go fast down to Harris Ranch near Coalinga, California. B-roll, I think you call this in the industry. So are you interested in a new Luscom? I think it would be cool to... Uh, I always dreamed that it would be so cool to have, imagine a brand new Luscom without all the cracks and creaks and straight sheet metal, a virgin airplane. Right. And in this case, it would be a good thing to help get this company going to support the over 1600 Luscombs that are already flying right you guys will be able to supply the parts for that's right that's what we're doing right now yeah we should make mention of that yeah I can plug the, the website yeah let's do that it's Tuesday, March 2nd, right? All right, I'll leave you alone. That's correct. <laughs> it's Tuesday, March 2nd. We're here at Harris Ranch, California, Coalinga, California, and this is young Gavin Swanson of the new old Luscombe Aircraft Corporation. Thanks, Gavin. You brought Lima Sierra with you today. Absolutely. I'm happy to be here. All right. Now, the Luscombe has got a long and sordid history, and now... Gavin, at 18 years old, you are going to be a part of this history, whether you know it or not. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, tell us first tell us, how did you get involved with Alaska Aircraft? Uh, well, I've been in aviation since I was like 12 years old, really interested in aircraft. And uh, there's the saying, the airport rat gets the cheese. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm the airport rat at my local airport of Jamestown, New York. It's Chautauqua County Airport. I identify our Kilo Juliet Hotel Whiskey. Mm -hmm. um, so the Luscombe Aircraft Company moved from Chino, California to Jamestown, New York to get a bigger hangar space and to start being able to make these aircraft quicker. And uh, I happened to just be a part of that through the Civil Air Patrol. Um, 
got the job and I've been there for just about a year now and really enjoy it. And you just got checked out and qualified in tail dragger aircraft and in the Luscom, right? That's correct. Yeah. Wow, private pilot privileges. Yes, sir. Excellent, you're gonna work your way up to uh, CFI? And yes, sir, I, I, I would love to be able to uh, flight instruct out of these great aircraft. I think they're fantastic trainers. Yeah, they are, <laughs> they'll teach you, they'll teach you. If you can fly one of these, you can fly anything. Now, Gavin just flew up here to meet us at uh, Harris Ranch in Nine Lima Sierra. What year is this Luscom? Uh, this Luscom is the newest Luscom ever built by Renaissance Aircraft, the previous owners of the company, and it was built in 2012. So just cresting 100 hours total time on the airframe. And they, they built four of these new Luscoms. That's correct. And this, air, this Luscom configuration is basically an 8F with flaps, Silflex gear and a Continental O200 engine. That's correct, with the lightened version of the Continental O200, the O200D. The new one? Correct. Excellent. So you bought the rights to Luscom from Renaissance Aircraft? That's correct. The current owners did, yes. Uh, we have the rights to the airframe and uh, we're hoping to start manufacturing aircraft this year. And you've moved the whole operation back to New York. Yes, sir. Where it's a more affordable place to build these sort of aircraft. And what's the purpose of this aircraft? You just bought it from the previous owner. That's right, we bought it back from the owner that Renaissance originally sold the aircraft to. Um, and this aircraft, with slight modification, will be our company demonstrator, and we'll be flying it around the different trade shows and air shows across the country to show what the new Luscom can be. Mm -hmm. And so, have we got a price point for the first couple of Luscoms yet? Are we willing to talk about that at this well, point? Well, the new Luscom's gonna come in, you know, with different options, but hopefully under $150,000, and maybe more with some advanced options for the airframe. Mm -hmm. And very basic options, you could get that down pretty well below, somewhere between 110 and 150 grand, maybe. That's correct. Uh -huh. Yes. Got it. Okay. Well, let's check out some of the features of the new old Luscom. Let's do it. When you make these aircraft new, what model designation will it be? So this will be the Luscom LSA8. It's pretty much just a Luscom 8F with the light sport designation. So it'll be light sport certified. That's correct. And with dual tow brakes, correct? That's correct. Well, the original, the light version called our Green Acres aircraft, the basic Luscom, will only have one set of brakes on the pilot side, and then dual brakes will be an option. And that's Cleveland wheels and brakes. That's correct. Now, starting with this prop, I see you got a Cato prop on here. Is this what you're going to be offering primarily, or? This is similar to the model that we will be offering. We plan to work closely with Cato Propeller to design the propeller that will be perfect for the new Lusco. Made out of maple wood core and a composite outer shell. It's a great prop for a light sport. And the advantage of a Cato prop is you get not only the performance, but you get a very smooth running propeller That's versus correct. the metal props. That's correct, especially with a dynamically balanced prop like this one. Now, of course, you have all the jigs to build these aircraft, but you also have the stamps. Are you going to be able to stamp out parts like that nose bowl and that sort of thing, or you got... Absolutely. Using original 1940s manufacturing processes and new 21st century manufacturing processes, we will be able to make and produce the parts that you know on your current Lusco. Great. So the Silflex gear, What are go over those advantages again of the Silflex gear. So the Silflex gear, has a many main advantages, especially when it comes to strength and rigidity. The original landing gear for the Luscom had a tendency to buckle under any side loaded pressure. The Stillflex landing gear doesn't do that at all. It's very rigid and it's not very springy, so you can land pretty hard and the aircraft won't bounce. Bounce back into the air. The original landing gear had a set of additional struts running inboard like this. And, and that's, that's what would buckle, right? That's correct. The Stillflex landing gear is so strong, it doesn't have to have that. Because they've got a big tubular uh, feature in here. Yes, though so it's going to be a one solid piece tube landing gear. Now, temporarily, your Cato prop has an extension on it right now? That's correct. Sabre Manufacturing in Texas has partnered with Cato Propeller um, to provide extensions for their props, and Cato did recommend that we had this extension on our aircraft. Uh, for the time being until we have a new propeller. And you noticed considerable better cooling, cylinder head temperatures? Cylinder head temperatures are down almost 50 degrees and the performance of the prop is just outstanding. Yeah. Now let's look at the uh, O200. This is a brand new O200D model, which is a lighter weight than mine in the uh, Mighty Luscom. Hey, tell me that story about, the. Uh, what was the first Luscom you... So before working for Luscom Aircraft Corporation was ever a thought, uh, I happened to see the Mighty Green Luscom on the Blanca Lario channel. <laughs> 
when I was 13 or 14 years old and I wondered. I liked the crash investigation videos and I wondered what that beautiful green tail dragger was there. <laughs> and now, as I've said to uh, Juan. Juan, Juan here, <laughs> we've come full circle. <laughs> and what did you think the name of the airplane was? I thought at first when I was young that the, the Luscombe was the Mighty Luscombe. That was the initial <laughs> name of the aircraft. I soon learned that that wasn't the case, but his Luscombe is a Mighty Luscombe. See, that's what YouTube does to you. All right, back to the engine here. On the O200D, you get a lightweight um, alternator, a lightweight starter, standard mags, and the battery, a lightweight battery installed on the firewall instead of uh, towards the back of the aircraft as is found on my airplane. Let's see, what do we got here? So we got provisions for landing lights right here, it looks like. Yep. You, you guys have sorted out the metal wing tips, and you can go with the whatever kind of light combination you want. And then, Gavin, jump in there and show us those flaps. So most Luscombs, as many of you will know, don't actually have flaps. Um, the, some Luscomb 8Fs do have flaps, and ours is included, like it is technically an 8F. We have a T-handle flap system, mechanical flaps. There's two sets, 15 degrees and 30 degrees of flap. So you move over, hits a detent, and you see the flaps will come out here on the wing. It does provide very good aerodynamic efficiency for low short field operations. And we have 30 degrees of flaps, and that really gets you down. It's like a barn door. It's kind of similar to a Cessna with 40 degrees of flaps, if you've ever experienced that. Wow, so that's full flaps right there, that's 30 correct. degrees. That's a large flap. Yes, it is. And then there's a gap, and then you, you got your standard uh, ailerons from there. That's correct. And all of them, of course, of your aircraft will be metal wing aircraft. Yes. Back here on the tail feathers, it looks like you're going to use a combination of square, uh, tipped, fixed surface, and then rounded. Yeah, that's correct. We like the look and we like the performance of the uh, round tip rudder with the square tip vertical stabilizer. All right. And same thing with the horizontal stabilizer. We have a square tip and the round tip elevator. And of course, all new, you're going to get all new parts and all the airworthiness directives worries about the old bits and pieces are gone. Looks like a Scott tailwheel. That's correct. This new Luscombe will come with a standard Scott tailwheel. Uh, tell me about the fuel tanks on your aircraft. They're going to be uh, 12 and a half each. That's right. So originally the Green Acres, the basic Luscombe will come with two wing tanks, 12 and a half gallons. Um, that gives you a lot of fuel for the O200D, which burns around five, five and a half gallons an hour. Yeah. Now show us the fuel system inside. You've got uh, great new improvements on that. As some may know, the old Luscombe fuel system had two selectors for each tank on the sides of the fuselage. This Luscombe has a single unit fuel selector for right and left and all of the old issues with the different old fuel selectors have now been taken care of and uh, there's no issues with this fuel selector so far it's fantastic what's the name on that fuel selector again it's called an adair it says right there adair yeah adair in england and there's your tow brakes and the tow brakes on your new luscom will probably say luscom aircraft corporation that's correct um regarding the controls the you've got the tall sticks yeah and you've also got the ball bearing pulleys in the wings giving you the smooth controls on the ailerons. That's correct. The flight control surfaces of this aircraft are very smooth. Um, you, will you have the option for patroller doors? Yes, the in there? observer door option is available. Um, we actually really like the observer doors. Uh, these seats are uh, the classic Jack Norris uh, comfort seats. Yes, and they are very comfortable yep. um, compared to the original bench seat you might see in other older Luscombs. Right, and you've got the nifty interior, and it looks like about 75 pounds uh, in the baggage in the back there. That's correct. Fuel gauges remain in the wing roots, just as before, and uh, of course you can deck it out with whatever kind of avionics you want, I suppose. That's correct. There's a basic instrument package and an advanced instrument package for the aircraft right now. Um, this panel is not representative of what the new Luscombe will be. Uh, that's one of the first modifications we're going to do here to Niner Lima Sierra to get this ready to go for certain trade shows and air shows. Are we going to see you at uh, Sun and Fun? Oh yes. This aircraft will be flown once I get it back to New York here this week and maybe next week. Uh, 
the next plan is to fly it down early April to Sun and Fun. So see you then. You better start pedaling, man. We're here in Coal Lake, California is a long way away. And then as soon as you get there, you got to start polishing, right? That's right. Yes. The first thing that's on the task for this aircraft is a, is a new shiny polish of this uh, beautiful aluminum surface. And one of the most important aspects of getting the Luscombe Corporation back off of the ground again is that you guys will then be able to supply parts for the over 1,600 Luscombs that are currently airworthy and flying, right? Absolutely. We have thousands of PMA approved parts for the certified Luscombe airframe. And uh, you can visit us at www.luscombeair.com um, to contact us and reach out. There's a chance we might not have the part you're looking for, but there's a good chance we do. And uh, Anything that we can do to help the Luscombe community, we can, we will try and absolutely love to do, seeing how the Luscombe community has been so supportive of us. <laughs> and then even if you don't have the part, <clears throat> eventually you'll make the part and it'll be an FAA PMA part absolutely. for your Luscombe, right? Absolutely. There you go. And performance similar to the Luscombe's from before, but about 105, 115 miles an hour? 115 miles an hour indicated I've been getting with this Cato propeller paired with the O200D. What kind of... I, rate of climb 800 do you got 800 foot per eight, minute yes so with two people and almost full fuel to keep it in the light sport regulations i'm getting five to eight hundred feet a minute and alone i've seen climb rates over 1100 feet per minute really? in this aircraft huh you don't know what they're weighing in at yet do you uh this luscom right here weighs at 915 mm -hmm. empty weight which is a little heavy for a luscom yeah. but the new luscom we hope to reduce that weight yeah. to get you more usable load yep yep good all right 18 year old young gavin swanson is gonna you're you know you're gonna be a <laughs> <laughs> a big part of the Luscombe history here. This is an amazing break, man. Hey, I sure hope so. I'm happy to be with the company, and uh, I've come to love this airframe. Yeah. What do you think? Should the Blanco Lirio channel get one of the first Luscombs, help them get this thing off the ground? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we can put together. Thanks. See you here. See ya.